Ahoy hoy fellow bookworms, my name is Caroline and I like to read books, so let's talk about them. Today's video is going to be my September wrap up and even though I read four books this month and really enjoyed them, I still had a kind of disappointing September and found myself in a bit of a reading slump. I don't know why but I just wasn't in the mood for reading, I would kind of like procrastinate reading by like going on my phone or going on the computer, watching TV, just doing literally fucking anything to avoid reading, which is super weird for me because normally reading is my form of procrastination. That being said, I did still read four books this month and I have thoughts that I want to share, so let's get into this. First up, I read The Raven King by Maggie Stevewater, which is the fourth and final book in the Raven Cycle series, and I was a little nervous going into this because the first three books were awesome and I loved them, and I just wasn't sure that this would live up to those as a finale, and I think I was a little right to be hesitant about this because it was just disappointing. There were a lot of things about this book that I really enjoyed. It was a bit more creepier than all the others in the series, which I found myself really liking because it made it feel a bit more like a finale, Everything that happened had a bit more weight to it, and I just kind of enjoyed that. I also think this book did a really great job of building tension throughout the story, however, what I think was really disappointing was the fact that nothing was really done with that tension, like, it builds and builds and builds for the whole story, and then it just kind of, like, ends, and that's it. Honestly, I still love the characters and the world that this takes place in, but I think as a finale, it was a big letdown. I still had questions at the end that weren't answered. There were like characters and plot lines that I don't think were particularly well addressed in the whole wrap up and all that. So it was an enjoyable book to read and I'm definitely glad I finished the series, but I ended up giving this one a three out of five stars, whereas I gave the rest of the series five out of five stars. So it was definitely a letdown. After that I picked up They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera and holy fucking shit this book was just so good. I have already done a full and spoiler free review of this book so I will leave the link to that in case you guys are interested but to summarize my thoughts on it I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. It had like a really profound emotional impact on me. I think Adam Silvera is incredibly clever. I love the way he writes because he doesn't write in a really wordy way. I think what he does is create characters who are genuinely real and relatable and then just lets like their story unfold in front of you and it's just wonderful. I got so swept up in this book. I got so emotional. I found myself thinking about it for so long after I finished it and it was just... Oh, it was so good. I loved it. I, I recommend it to everyone. It was a really great read. Next up I read God's Grave by Jay Kristoff which is the sequel to Nevernight and again for this book I've done a full spoiler free review in case you guys are interested in checking that out. My thoughts on this book are mostly positive which is surprising considering I wasn't the biggest fan of Nevernight but I ended up giving God's Grave a 4 out of 5 stars so even though I found the story to be a little predictable I still really enjoyed it because it was fun and entertaining and enjoyable. I liked the new characters, I liked the direction that things went in. I wasn't the biggest fan of the footnotes still because those just really aren't my thing. I just don't like them that much but it was still a fun book. I liked it a lot more than I was expecting to and I'm really interested to see where the series goes. The final book that I read in September was Warcross by Marie Lu. Now I do still plan on reviewing this but I haven't yet because my thoughts are still kind of like all in a jumble and I'm trying to get them together so that I can make like a cohesive and sensible person review. So when I do it will be linked on the screen but for now I'm just gonna try and like get my thoughts together and share what I think. I enjoyed this book. Let's just get that out of the way. I thought it was fast paced and entertaining and interesting and fun and enjoyable. I thought our main character was cool as fuck. She's like a hacker and a bounty hunter. She was really, really cool. But I did still have problems with this story as a whole. The main one being that I found it incredibly predictable. There was not a single twist in this book that I did not see coming a mile off and of course the book can be both predictable and entertaining. This one definitely was but when it's marketed as a sci-fi thriller you want to be surprised by it so when I wasn't it took it from like a 4 out of 5 stars to a 3 out of 5 stars. The other problem for me was the ending and this is where things get a little like fuzzy in my review because I didn't like the ending. I think it was really only there to set it up for a sequel when I think things could have been wrapped up in just one book. But also, I was really hooked by the ending. Like, I really want to know what happened. I'm definitely going to buy the other book. So, it worked. Like, the ending hooked me. It worked, but it could have just been wrapped up in one book. So, I'm kind of annoyed about that, but also, I just don't really know. 
That brings us to the end of my September wrap up though guys. I am sorry my thoughts on Warcross were a little all over the place there. Hopefully in the next week or so I will have a full and spoiler free review up which will be a little more cohesive and understandable. I upload videos Wednesdays, Saturdays and sometimes Mondays as well so be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Toodaloo!